Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to install and deploy TC Admin on a Windows Server 2019 box. So the first thing you want to do is obviously go to TC Admin's uh, documentation and we're going to go ahead and go to our download here. And we've already downloaded it, so it's right here. Um, now there are some requirements before you want to install TC Admin. Uh, so go ahead and click on System Requirements, and it's going to tell you everything here for Windows. And if you're doing Linux, there's Linux, but we're doing Windows. So you can see these are the supported operating systems. Uh, make sure you have Microsoft Framework 4.7.2, which is usually when versions already installed on the latest version of server, so we don't need to install that. You do need to install the NP cap, so you can see bandwidth uh, charts and everything. So that's this right here, mpcap.exe. Download that and install that. Then let's see what's next. You're going to want to, uh, it's better to have the MySQL database um, for the best performance. This is definitely something they recommend, and I've always deployed it this way, and it's always pretty fast. Um, if you use an uh, embedded database, that that's another option. But I would only use that for uh, development and testing purposes because then you don't have to set up a whole MySQL environment, which we downloaded and we are actually going through the install process right now. So once you download it, you just go through these steps, make sure you have everything. We're just doing a standalone. Hit next. Default ports are fine. And yes, we're going to use strong password. Now we need to set our root password here. And then it looks like we can hit next then. And all the defaults are fine and execute. So while that's running, let's go see what else is next. So we got the MySQL installing, uh, Virtual C runtime library. We've already downloaded and, run and installed that. DirectX is required by some Steam games, so download that. And if you're running Minecraft servers, you're definitely gonna want the Java 64-bit um, installed and we've just got done installing that. And after you install this, get the MySQL set up and everything, then you go ahead and give your server a fresh reboot before we start this process. So we're going to wait for this to get done, which, well, it's already done. So hit finish. Next. And finish. All right. So MySQL is done and being installed. So we can close that out. And close this. And we'll just put that there. And let's go ahead and reboot our computer and go ahead and start the installation process. All right, we are now fully rebooted with a fresh reboot. And I would check to make sure you don't have any pending Windows updates to do as well. Make sure you're fully patched and ready to go. Looks like I have one thing here that needs to be installed. Um, but let's just wait for this to install and then let's go ahead and start the TC admin installation. All right, once we finish that update and we did a clean reboot again, we're going to go ahead and run the TC admin exe, agree to the terms of service, hit next, and install. Um, if anything pops up as an error, that means that you didn't install one of the requirements during the installation. So you have to go back and install that. Um, but this should be pretty quick. Um, I like the newer TC admin because usually you got to, like back in the day, I remember you had to install IIS, you know, all this nonsense stuff. Uh, and, but now it's just like run this EXE, couple, install some dependencies, and that's about it. I mean, it's pretty straightforward now, which is what I like. I'm going to go ahead and pause this because I'm not sure how long this takes, but I'll definitely pause it at the next step. All right, so the default login is going to be admin and then password. So remember that, hit finish. You can now go ahead and dump that exe. And the first time as it loads, don't freak out. It's just taking a second to load up. So we're just checking our server here. So like I said, it's admin password for the first time to log in, hit log in. And now we're going to go through the setup process. We're going to need that um, password for MySQL and things like that. So hit never. Now we are ready to uh, set up the master. And then we're going to put in our 
license key here. Uh, we'll just do demo. Up. Oh. And hit next. All right, uh, we actually had to put in our legit key, so that's why I just paused it and put the key in and then hit next. So here's where you want to change that MySQL information. Server, you can probably just put in the 127.0.0.1, and then our username is going to be root, and then we're going to need that password we set up earlier. And then database, we can just probably call it TC, uh, TC admin. Uh, DB for database, hit next. Okay, so it looks like it's gonna want us to create that, to just connect to a database and we can create databases, edit tables, do all kinds of things. So go ahead and install this so we can create that TC admin database in here. I'll pause it while we're waiting for this to download. Go ahead and hit I agree, I'm gonna get some download in here. So it should be nice to um, have installed anyway, so then you can always connect to the database if there's a problem. So let's go ahead and hit new. And then put in that password. We set up earlier. Hit open, and there we go. So now we need to create a new database. So right click on the unnamed or if you named it, whatever. And then we're gonna to go to create new database and we're gonna call it TC admin DB, hit okay. And there we have it. So now if we come back here and hit next, should pick that database up and it should create the tables here for us. There you have it. So here's our primary IP. And then hit next. And then we're just going to leave that to the default, hit next, and then finish. And then now if you come back here and hit refresh on this, now you're going to actually see, look at all the tables it actually created. So you can go ahead and close out of that. And we're still waiting for that service to be restarted. So once the service gets restarted, we can go ahead and jump into the uh, server management piece and we can go ahead and start creating CSGO servers or you know whatever servers you want to you know start creating and this is how simple it is to now install TC admin for you guys. Alright once it gets done it's going to redirect you to this and of course we're going to do that same admin password creds and once we log in you're going to definitely want to change that but now we can log in and we can go ahead and create a server. Like I said, once it gets rebooted, things are a little sluggish at first, um, but it, it'll be start s pretty snappy um, once it's been running for a little bit longer. Um, so we could sh now we can go to service manager, go to game servers here. Actually, we need to create a new service and create a game service and select our master, which is this, and then we'll select CSGO. And we'll set that to that port, and we'll make it 20 slot. You can select a CPU if you want, but we'll just default it to the last one, actually. And that's fine, start the game. Archon, that's fine. And let's go ahead and create. This will take some time, because what it will actually do is download into I believe it's TC files games and then CSGO Steam apps and this is now downloading the entire game files and you can see it's already starting to download so this can take because uh, CSGO is about 25 gigs maybe a little bit less and a little bit maybe a little bit more um, so like I said if, depending on your internet connection could take a little bit um, so you can see it's at seven percent so just keep in mind, just let this turn over. Now, once you install it, one server going forward, it's going to be very quick to create other servers because basically all it's going to do is copy those files to another server and then that's it. So next time it'll be very uh, quick and easy. Um, but there you guys have it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause this and wait for it to download and you can see it actually running and I'll be able to connect to the server and everything. You can see it working. 
All right, you guys, there you have it. You can see I created uh, that server and now it's running after I went through that long process that almost took 30 minutes for it to download all those files and then copy those files again to another folder and then create the service, but you can see it is not running. And I created a second one and that one was like five minutes. So you can see that there's a big difference between uh, creating it fresh and then um, uh, once it gets that first one done, then you can knock out a lot of servers after that. And now I'm in here and you can see the server is running, the CPU resources, if there was players in the server, you can do all kinds of things now. Um, there you guys have it. Um, if you want to add more uh, games, if they're not in the game server list, just so you know, you can go to settings here, go to game and other voice services, and this is how you can add them from here. All right. All right, you guys, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll try and answer them. Thank you.